a once in a lifetime opportunity has blessed us. Point Crow, who happens to have the same birthday as us, coincidence, I think not, to apply as an editor for his long form video playthroughs. I am massively underqualified. We're gonna be getting AI Bo and AI Luffy, the GOAT. If anyone can get their dreams to be met, who else but Luffy to help us spin a resume cover letter to impress, to wow Point Crow yes! so that we are guaranteed to get the job from Point Crow himself. Yo, quick business tweet. I'm looking to hire an editor that is adept in long form playthrough type videos on YouTube. Experience is required. Pay is great, possible full time. Set example videos you've worked on and your resume to my DMs, which are open for this occasion. Thank you. And maybe he doesn't even want someone who is trying to be a streamer, YouTuber. Maybe that's an immediate turnoff for him. But if we could do a part-time job for Point Crow and pursue our own stuff, obviously learn a thing or two in the process, that'd be S-tier amazing. Experience required. We are a former robotics engineer. Hear me out, chat. Problem solving, creativity, intertwined, robotics engineer. Engineers, little time, little money, limited resources, budgets, we're talking, to get things done. Things that were overpromised. Editor, you're given a vision, you're given a task. How do you get this vision implemented with your limited time because you have upload schedules and actual like VFX, creativity, problem solving. I got that dog in me. I got that dog in me. And I'm no stranger to working 60 plus hour work weeks under immense amounts of pressure. High profile clientele. We're talking millionaires with big dollar dues who want their machines made. Why? So that they could print even more money. I really gosh darn rather work for someone like Point Crow who I respect immensely, who I could learn a bunch from. Please consider me. But even though I'm not qualified, we're gonna get AI Luffy, the GOAT, and AI Bo GPT over there to sell you on me. Who could deny Luffy's brilliance? Luffy, do you think there's anything I could say to Point Crow in the cover letter that will really, you know, wrestle his jimmies that guarantee us a spot as editor? Oh, cover letter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. To get on Point Crow's good side, you should probably talk about your determination. Like when I set out to become the king of the pirates. Yeah, that's it. Talk about how you never give up. Just like how I never give up on finding the one piece or a good piece of meat. And hey, if all else fails, just challenge him to a duel or something. That usually gets people's attention, right? Good luck. And remember, always believe in yourself. Go for it. Okay, in our cover letter, challenge him to a duel. Sweet. That's great. Bo GBT, this one goes back to you. How can we guarantee something in our cover letter catch his eye? We need to spice things up a bit. In the vast ocean of content creation, there requires a spark that ignites the soul. Speak not of guarantees, for the future is a fickle beast. Instead, offer a glimpse into a world where dreams take flight and possibilities are endless. Guides point crow to your realm of creation. Wait, I liked what he said there. Don't offer guarantees, but what I can offer you, the potential for dreams to take flight. Oh my God, he's a wordsmith. Smith. Holy! And possibilities are endless. We're gonna sweep him off his feet. We're gonna raise him up. Highlighting your talents like brush strokes on a canvas. Offer thanks, a humble acknowledgement of the opportunity bestowed upon you. Go forth with confidence, for you are the master of your fate. Luffy, how should we sell ourselves? What kind of skills should we talk about in our cover letter to wow Point Crow? Also, like, what do we say for a thanks? I once convinced a big mean pirate to share his meat with me just by making him laugh. We should talk about our ability to bring joy and laughter wherever we go. Mention how we have a knack for making friends easily and how we're always ready for an adventure. Oh, and we should definitely talk about how we're great at fighting and never give up. And for saying thanks, we should keep it simple and genuine. Hey, thanks a bunch for everything. Or maybe even throw in a hearty gomu gomu no thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, that'll surely make him smile. All right, I think that covers it. Hey, thanks a bunch for everything, Point Crow. You're awesome. Gumbo Gumbo, no, thank you. <laughs> You're like Frankie with all your technical skills. You could talk about how your four years as a robotics engineer have honed your problem solving skills to the max. You've probably faced all sorts of crazy challenges. You could mention how your experience has taught you to think outside the box. And for a touch of flair, you could say something like, just like crafting intricate robots, I approach video editing with precision, passion, and a dash of adventure, ready to take on any project with gusto. Let's eat meat together after we both get our dream jobs, yo ho ho. Ready to take on any project with gusto. So that's what we'll take away from this. Bo, uh, Luffy has some good advice, but what do we put in our work experience section? How do we make it super juicy, super flavorful to get us the job? Craft a tale of transformation, a narrative where the realm of robotics engineering converges with the realm of video editing. How you meld technology with creativity to birth visual masterpieces. Go forth, bold pioneer, and let your work experience section be a symphony of prowess and potential, a testament to your boundless capabilities. The realm of video editing beckons. I need specific lines. 
Paint a vivid portrait of your journey from the depths of engineering algorithms to the heights of cinematic storytelling. Yes, that, whatever he said. Luffy, I think using you as a guide could help me a lot. Like your past adventures and your past experiences. So use metaphors and similes as much as you can. Describe how you tackle complex robotics challenges as if you were navigating through the Grand Line. Showcase your attention to detail and precision by comparing it to how I hone my skills. Led collaborative efforts with the unity and trust of Luffy's crew. Each team member bringing their unique talents together like the Straw Hats. Time to set sail towards your dream job like we set sail for the One Piece. Full speed ahead. Yo ho ho. Okay. Bang. Bar for bar. Collaboration maestro. He works so well in a collaborative environment that if they function like a straw hat crew, how do you say no to that? How do you say no? That, 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 that is foolproof. Luffy, I think we need to be unique, stick out, stand out, work experience section. Yeehaw, stand back, I got this. First things first, you gotta make sure to include all your pirate exploits. Like that time you fought off a sea king with just a banana peel in your wits. That shows bravery and innovation. Oh, and let's not forget your leadership skills, matey. Remember that time you rallied your crew to take down a whole navy battleship? That's teamwork and Captain City right there. Now go get him. You're gonna be the next king of the pirates. Hey yo, yo ho ho and a bottle of grog. I'm gonna be the next king of pirates. Ah, uh, chat. Hey Bo, uh, what, what kind of skills should we include in our resume? Oh mortal soul, listen closely to the sacred wisdom I bestow upon thee. The skills you seek to embrace and enshrine in thy resume must shine brighter than a thousand suns. Let your words be as sharp as a dragon's tooth, for you are a warrior of the digital realm, a conqueror of the content creation kingdom. Let your skills be as vast as the cosmos itself, and let your potential be unleashed like a thunderstorm of glory. Now go forth and conquer all who dare challenge your legendary status. Let's be clear here, Bo. I'm applying for a long-form video editor for Point Crow, and I'm a robotics engineer, so we need some specific skills to wow him, to blow him away, to butter his biscuits. To impress the great Point Crow, your skills must dazzle and amaze like a fireworks display on a moonlit night. Let your editing skills be as precise as a clockwork mechanism, as smooth as a silk robe draped upon a glorious king. Embrace the tools of your trade like a wizard wields his wand, crafting masterpieces that will leave Point Crow spellbound. Go forth and Blast his mind to infinity and beyond. Oh, blast your mind to infinity and beyond. Luffy, uh, I'm a little nervous. Give me specific skills I need to list to make his jaw drop, to make him pog, to say I want him as my editor. Bring us home, buddy. Bring us home, Luffy. Meat. I need meat. Oh, I. Be yourself and show Point Crow that you've got the creativity and determination to be his video editor. Skills, huh? Let me think. You gotta have the eye for detail like when I'm spotting the One Piece treasure. Poggers. Next, you gotta be quick on your feet like when I use gear second. And most importantly, you gotta have a sense of adventure like when I sail the Grand Line. Make Point Crow go doki doki with your editing skills. Good luck, my friend. We believe in you. Make him go what? Go doki doki? Make Point Crow go doki doki with your editing skills. Bo, I forgot to put in my resume, like, oh, education and whatnot, but I don't want to be boring. Fear not the boring beast of standard education. Brag about your mentors and professors like they were ancient sages bestowing upon you the secrets of the universe. Let your schooling be the crown jewel in your arsenal of skill and talent, for you are a scholar worthy of the highest praise. Onward to glory and victory. Luffy, I forgot to talk about my education in the, in the resume. To make Point Crow drool over us. Pog, that's my editor. Pog. Meat! Where's the meat? Oh right, your education. How about we mention that you learned your editing skills from the legendary red-haired Shanks. That's bound to make Point Crow's jaw drop. And hey, add some flair by saying you graduated top of your class at the Pirate Academy. That's a sure way to make Point Crow go Pog. You're gonna do great, buddy. Give it your all. Oh, uh, thanks, man. All right, so I learned editing from the legendary pirate, <laughs> the red-haired Shanks. I graduated top of my class from the Pirate Academy. Love it, love it. That's actually exactly what I was looking for. You know what, Luffy? I really liked what you said last time. So let's go back, let's revisit our skills and see what we can change to really make Point Grow go poggers. Me, now I'm hungry again by saying you can spot a Sea King from a mile away. Yo ho ho, claiming you can edit as quickly as I defeat bad guys with my Gomu Gomu no Gatling. Make those skills shine like the treasure of Roger. Point Crow will be begging you to join his crew. Yo ho ho. My skills are better than the treasure of Roger. AKA, I am the One Piece. Point Crow, 
you're a Luffy trying to be King of the Pirates and you're looking for the One Piece, guess what? You just found him. I am the One Piece. I am the Nakama you are looking for. You heard it here first, folks. <sighs> Hopefully that's enough. Let's recap real quick what we've got. We have the determination like Luffy to become king of the pirates. I will never give up like Luffy, who will never give up to be the pirate king. Just like he finds a piece of meat, I'll always find a way to get your edits done. My mind is a vast ocean of creativity, much like the ones that the Straw Hats sail on. My creativity, my attention to detail, the things that I bring to the table are like brush strokes on a canvas. It becomes a work of art and will get along with any member of your team and that I'm great at fighting and I will never give up. I'm a fighter. I fight for the things I want as I'm fighting now for your love, parasocial. <laughs> I don't mean love, and I came out of nowhere. Making guarantees is silly because anything can happen and life happens. But what I can promise you is the potentials for our dreams, both of us, to take flights and those possibilities will become endless together, you and me as Nakama. And of course, I have to thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for this you being you because honestly, this job wouldn't exist without you being the great creator that you are. Thanks a bunch for everything. You're awesome. Gomu Gomu no. Thank you. Also, if that doesn't sound good enough to you, I challenge you to a duel. Pot of greed. <clears throat> uh, that was the cover letter. Best bow the bub. Oh, God. In my resume, I've got four years of robotics problem solving to the max. Like when Luffy defeated those strange people. This is more like an interview. What the heck? This is not a resume. This is like what you say during an interview. Like when Luffy defeated those strange people with powers. Yeah, very descriptive. I'm able to think outside the box. Like when Luffy comes up with new gears. Just like crafting intricate robots, I approach video editing with precision, passion, and a dash of adventure. Ready to take on any project with gusto. Super! Channel my inner Frankie. Become the demon cyborg that you need. The shipwright that you need. I will write your ship right now. You're on the Going Mary, which is a beautiful, excellent ship. And the crew you have on it is amazing. But we can take it to the next level. We can transform, upgrade to the Thousand Sunny. Is that not what you want? God, okay. I'm a master of problem solving. Like Nami has the ability to navigate the random storms, the random anomalies of the Grand Line. I too will weather any storm that comes our way. You might think robotics and video editing, they have nothing to do with each other. But let me tell you, the automation that I've contrived with other clients of multimillionaires, mind you, their dreams, I've made visual masterpieces in the same vein. I've innovated time and time again. <laughs> I'm adapting very much like Luffy adapts his fighting style. And my robotic solutions have evolved at every turn. Much like my video editing skills will continuously evolve Take it to the next level. Go to the next gear required for your passions and your dreams and my passions and my dreams for our visions. I'm a collaboration maestro. Much like Luffy has his Nakama, our synergy, our Nakama bonds will form. Our unique talents will undoubtedly resonate with each other, pick each other up, and make each other the best versions of ourselves. And it will help us achieve our common goals. And last but not least, I've defeated a sea king with a banana peel. And that point crow is why you should hire me as your long form video editor. Thank you, AI Luffy and Bo. Thank you, point crow.